All right, this is going to be for advanced students only. So we are going to do zero span on the uh, tiny essay. So zero, zero span will let us listen to modulation or display it on the screen. We can't listen to it, but we can display it in real time. So it's like demodulating the signal and then showing it on oscilloscope. So let's try to do that over here. Let's try to try to set things up over here. Um, let's go to let's see RF generator send scope. Ah, there we go. So what we want to do. is we want to get a picture like this, okay? And so this is a real-time picture of the modulation that I'm sending, okay? So what is that modulation? So uh, I have a, a radio here, and let me, uh, let me put a signal into the radio. Let me make sure my, let me make sure my level is down. Yeah, level's too high. Let's go to, I'm going to set my level to minus 80 dBm, which is nice and loud on the radio, but not too high. And there you go. So that's what I'm sending. That picture that we just saw. Let me bring it back up again. That is what we're listening to. Okay. So, so what it? It's kind of annoying. So what is that? Uh, so it's a series of tones that are being repeated over and over again. The uh, 8921 has an encoder, and it has a whole bunch of ways to encode things. Uh, this is the tone sequence, and there are values you put in there. So these are various uh, frequencies, and then you can set, send a sequence of those frequencies, and I'm sending five tones in a repeating fashion, and you hear that, okay? So, uh, so we heard it, we saw it. Can the tiny SA detect that, okay? That's what our zero span would do. So let's put that signal into the low channel. And uh, it's minus 80 dBm right now, which is a little low for our spectrum analyzer. So let's, let's change that to minus 50. And now we have a good signal on the spectrum analyzer, okay? So we want to do a zero span on that frequency. So how do we do that, okay? Well, we go to, uh, let's see, display, no, um, level, uh, frequency. We go to frequency, and this button here called zero span. So we'll click on zero span. It asks us for the frequency. We're at 146.52 megahertz. And so there we go. Now. On the Baofeng radio, we were modulating FM-wise, and uh, the spectrum analyzer is not going to be able to see that. It's just going to get a, give us a flat line. Wiggling in this direction is not going to be able to be detected by the spectrum analyzer in this mode. So we have to go to the, to the uh, AM modulation, okay? We're going to use the exact same tones, but I'm going to send them through an AM modulator instead of an FM modulator, okay? And so um, we see the signal starting to wiggle, wiggle now. Uh, there we go. Okay, so I, I was uh, turn, I just turned on the modulation. That wiggling was probably noise. So that's the real modulation. So there's two things wrong with it. It's it, well, three things wrong with it. It's too low. It's too small, and the. Uh, sweep time is wrong, so we need to change those three, three things. So we want to first change the uh, level. We're going to change the scale per division to five. So now it's bigger. We want to move it up. So we change the reference level to, let's say, minus 20. Now it's moved up. Now we want to change the horizontal sweep time, which is uh, in display, sweep settings, sweep time, 
let's say 10 milliseconds and there we go okay so we're seeing about the same uh, same picture that we saw over here so uh, it does do zero zero span uh, it seems to do it quite well I'm, I'm pretty impressed so uh, it's a real-time dis real display uh, normally a spectrum analyzer displays amplitude versus frequency now we're displaying amplitude versus time um, on one locked frequency so that's a uh, zero span